Next up, familiar face, here he is, Community Manager for Yelp in Albuquerque, Howie Kybell. Hello, Howie, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on again. I've been smelling this all morning. <laughs> yeah. You've, were you roasting it in the lobby it, or what? You know, I did pick up some of it yesterday, so that's what, maybe what you said, but no, I didn't portably <laughs> you know, come over here. And, well, you could have said yes. We've been smelling it the whole show. It's a nice, it's a wonderful it's smell, chilly. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Chili. Um, you know, let's. It is sort of our. This is the the thing that separates New Mexico cuisine from anything else in the world. Yes. Um, and I was hoping that we would just kind of approach this from a very uninitiated sort of point of view, so that everyone, anyone who doesn't really know about chili, uh, can learn a little something. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Sure. Well, it's, uh, you know, we put this stuff on everything. Uh, red and green chili is the exact same pepper. It's just, uh, it's just picked at different times of the year. So the green is earlier, red is later in the season. Mm -hmm. um, but we throw it on, you know, Italian food, on our breakfast, um, and even in our cereal. So <laughs> this is like the, the most important ingredient to make it New Mexican food. Um, and just a few notes about what's ha about the industry. Eighty-two percent of the chili on the market is foreign grown, it's, uh, oh. grown in places like Ch uh, like Peru, I India, China. Really? Yeah. So it's really oh. crucial that you know we try that that we do as much as we can to promote the local yeah. that's being grown, uh, especially because over the last oh uh, you know twenty years or so, we've seen a seventy-five percent decrease in the amount of chilies that are grown in New Mexico. Wow. Really, really sad. Yes. So, so go get local chili, and um, I'm going to tell you a few places to, uh, about where to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's what Yelp's all about. Exactly. And we have, we have people who are yelping about these great, uh, these great places that are roasting the chili, and I'll give you a few quotes from people and let you know, uh, you know some great local places to get them. Sounds good. So first place is Wagner Farms. This is out in Corrales. These are, this is the, this is the unroasted yeah. thing. Um, and you can tell that they also come in oranges and you know, even yellows. Uh -huh. So, um, but Wagner Farms grows them right there on their farm in Corrales mm -hmm. and uh, really, and, and roast them on site. They also have breakfast burritos and green chili stew. So you can go all out with your chili experience yeah. there. Um, the next place we're going to talk about is Rosales Produce. This green chili, roasted green chili, is from Rosales. There are two locations, one in the North Valley, one in the South Valley, really hidden um, little, little places, but really great Lemitar chili. Lemitar wow. is just north of Socorro. Sure. Um, they good. They they throw some good chili out of there too. They do. You yeah, know, really all do. the way up and down the Rio Grande. Yeah. You know, um, but certainly, um, you know, everyone wants to go. Uh, everyone wants to try the hatch stuff. There's yeah. a reason why. Yeah. Sure. This right here from Chili Traditions, uh, they source everything from Hatch. Mm -hmm. They are the largest outdoor retailer in the state, and they also make salsa um, out of their green chili. Mm -hmm. um, they also will ship it worldwide. Oh. So, really good resource. Um, another one, Sickler Farms. Um, this one? That is, yeah, actually, that's that Chili one. Traditions. This is from Sickler Farms, this beautiful ristra. That is beautiful. Um, it really is, and they have uh, just gorgeous ristras. They also have, right now, some of the best red chili in the city. Uh, roasted this is a, red chili. Yeah, wow. roasted, peeled red chili right here. Yeah. Um, but it's gorgeous, and it is tasty. I ate one raw yesterday, loved it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't hot? <laughs> <laughs> Not, no, it really wasn't. The, the yeah. green tends to get really spicy, but yeah. that red is a really nice sort of mild flavor. Mm. So, um, and the final one I wanted to talk about is Skarsgård Farms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys know about yeah. sure. Skarsgård? So, if you're not into the whole you know, the full sack experience of, of, you know, or even getting a half sack of it, you can get one pound, uh, like, bags from, really? from Skarsgård. Uh, the chili's grown right here mm -hmm. in Albuquerque. And, um, and, and you can it basically, and you can get it delivered free to your door. Oh, I've so. seen I didn't the know dual that. green trucks around town. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah, you need to, it, it, they have a minimum $25 order. Um, but you can get, you know, organic produce. It's really low carbon footprint, sort of. Yeah. You know, it's a great way to get your chili and everything else. So, oh. 
Great tips. So um, Yelp has all the information we need if we're looking for green chili. Absolutely. If you go on to Yelp right now, go down to the uh, bottom of the page, you're going to see something that says the weekly Yelp. This is something that I write every week, and this week it's on chili. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the businesses that I just talked about, along with a lot of quotes from Yelpers, like uh, this one from, from uh, Jeremy S. says that... Uh, it's a semi-hallucinogenic experience to eat <laughs> hot peppers from Sickler Farms. 